get a uh, relationship is something that I want to talk about today relationships um, having balance in relationships really important I was gonna explain this a little bit differently today but um, I had uh, had one of my personal coaching sessions last night with the coach that I have and she not introduced but kind of reminded me of a concept that I haven't really thought about for a long time something I've heard before but she kind of just refreshed it in my mind um, as to balancing your relationship with somebody if you're having issues with somebody in in a relationship setting whether it be like friendship uh, a partner wife husband whoever it is and the reason why I want to talk about what she spoke to me about is because I kind of related it back to an experience that Courtney and I had and it made a lot of sense that um, in helping me realize how Courtney was feeling at that time uh, which was a really big shock to me and I won't go into like too many details about Courtney and I's relationship right now I just want to use that as an example um, but I'm sure Courtney and I are happy to talk about that in uh, sometime in the near future because it's something we have spoken about because we pe we have people ask us about our relationship all the time because we've been so much been through so much like we've traveled together traveled the world together we've had business together we've been through some traumatic experiences together and we still you know manage to stay strong and really constantly work on our relationship as well as trying to be the best parents that we possibly can be at the same time so the concept that I'm talking about is perception projection which is basically simple terms saying how you think someone makes you feel sometimes you're making them feel that way an example i wanted to use with courtney was um, after all my treatment was said and done um, i went through a really tough time like i went through some really down times uh, for a couple of different reasons one is you know survivor's guilt what i heard about survivor's guilt i was like how could someone possibly have issues and get depressed and be anxious about surviving like a traumatic event, like going through something like that? Because the entire time I was going through it, I was like, oh man, I just can't wait to get the other side of this. I can't wait to live, can't wait to live my life. I'm gonna do these things, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, which the things that I'm slowly ticking off now, but I went through a really tough period because like when you go through something like that, and it doesn't have to be like an illness, it can be like a a trauma or, or even even if you spent a long time doing something with people you get really close to for my uh, my example is uh, the nurses in the hospital so I spent months and weeks of my time in the hospital and developed relationships with nurses uh, to the point to the end where I spent a long time in hospital that I was spending 24 hours a day with these people. I would see them every single, every two hours, and take my blood pressure, take my temperature, come in and check on me, bring me food, help me have a shower, like whatever it was. I just built these really strong relationships with these people that basically kept me alive, and they were like my support network outside of my family. And then after the whole process was finished, uh, they're like, "Okay, you're in remission. Cut you loose. See you later. Enjoy your life." And I went through this period at home where I was trying to heal and recover and um, you know it was a really tough time because I would basically lost my entire support network and on top of that you lose a lot of your other close support network like your family and friends because they're like oh he's okay now he's gone through it he's gonna survive so you know we'll just go on about our normal life and they probably wouldn't check in with you as much as what they did when you were going through it so you lose a massive support network um, and it becomes tough. So how this affected mine and Courtney's relationship is I went through a really tough time. Like I had a lot of anxiety, I had a lot of issues where I was like, um, you know, constantly, I, like I would worry about every little thing that went wrong with me. I've had a symptom of something. I was just like, oh no, I'm, gonna, I'm getting sick again. I'm gonna have to go back in hospital again. And, and like, it was basically like a bit of a, and, and rightfully so for a little while, it was like, a, 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 like woe is me, like, you know, I have to go through this, um, I, I'm upset, you know, I'm anxious, I need support, I'm weak, I'm this, I'm that, and basically just being the victim to my own mentality and um, having that survivor's guilt at the same time. 
And what I didn't know, and how this comes back to perception projection, is I thought at that time Courtney and I were, have, had grown apart quite a bit after that. And I was confused because I was like, why is Courtney growing apart from me? She should be appreciative of the fact that I've survived this and I'm here now, I'm here to support her. I'm here to be a dad, I'm here to be a parent. Um, I feel like she was just being really mean to me. And I thought she just didn't give a shit. Um, she was very self-centered, she was very selfish. It was all about her and um, she basically didn't give a shit about me. Um, and now that I'm talking about this perception projection, Courtney and I went to some psychology services, which originally I just went for myself, uh, just to get my head in the right space because I knew it was something I had to do. It's something I did from the start of the treatment with hypnosis, worked on the whole way through, and then afterwards I'm like, I need to talk to someone, I need to get my head right, I need to get through this for the future, I need to be a better dad, a better partner, I need to go through all these things. So I went into this psychology session and funny enough, the psychologist at the start offered, hey, why doesn't Courtney come in on these sessions as well? Because she's been through quite a bit of trauma. And I thought, that's a great idea. She hasn't let out many emotions through this entire, uh, through this entire period. Um, and maybe it'll help our relationship. Very first session we went in and I sat there again and I was just like, you know, I feel this way, I feel that way. I'm upset about this, I'm upset about that. I don't feel like Courtney cares. I. You know, I feel like it's, I feel like she should be more appreciative that I'm alive and I'm happy and I feel like um, she's being a bit selfish and, and blah, blah, blah. And the therapist turned to Courtney and goes, <clears throat> how do you feel, Courtney? Courtney broke down in tears, like, like I'd never seen before in our entire relationship and she was absolutely heartbroken and she was absolutely devastated and she proceeded to tell the psychologist that She'd basically written me off to a point because like, you know, at a period of time, they gave me a really low percentage chance to live in ICU. So she'd basically gone away and gone, well, I'm going to have to wipe him because he's not going to get out of here. He's not going to be there to help me and support me. I've got to figure out now how to be happy by myself and live by myself. And then when I came out and we spent time together, that was a really tough time for us to gel together in a relationship. But everything that I thought she was doing to me I was doing to her. I was being selfish. I was constantly talking about how I felt. I was constantly thinking about all the things that could go wrong with me. I was thinking about how upset I'd been. I was thinking about what I'd been through. But at the same time, on the other side of the room in the other chair, Courtney's there. Courtney had been through the same thing. She had her heart broken over and over and over again with all the bad news that we got. She would had to be a single parent. She had to support me in every single way possible. And I still sat there and I was still like, you know, me, 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 me. I'm the one going through this. When re in reality, she was also going through it at the same time. Um, so I started doing this um, perception projection work on another individual in my life that I want to I wanted work on um, how that person makes me feel or how I think they've made me, made me feel in the past. And I came to a really harsh reality that, hey, the same thing happened again. Like I was potentially treating that person the same way that I thought they were treating me. And I just thought it was a perfect way to sort of just summarize this in a way of having balance in relationships because, you know, everything's a two-sided um, perspective in a relationship you know there's you need compromise you need balance which is the main thing I like to talk about is balance in all these situations um, so I guess perception projection is probably just a tool that you could use to know if you're struggling in a relationship with someone and there's something that frustrates you and something that um, you think you could improve on maybe take a look and go hey these are all the things that this person's making me feel and then maybe have a deep down real look at whether you're making that person feel that way as well. And if you're not, that's completely fine. Because a part of this whole process and a part of, and it doesn't matter if you've been sick or had an injury or whatever, it goes to momentum as well. If you've got momentum in your life, you wanted to improve something, get fit, get healthy, lose weight, reach a goal, whatever it is, you need, you need great support in your life and you need really good support around you. So if you go through that evaluation to find balance in a relationship with somebody and you figure out that, hey, I don't think I treat them that way. I've dug really deep. I don't think I treat them that way. They definitely treat me this way. You've got to figure out whether that person's helping you or hurting you. And, um, you know, 
that's what balance in relationships is all about. You need to figure out the relationships around you. If you've got to go through something tough or you've got to build something new that you've never built before and really need the support, you need to make sure the relationships around you are really balanced. And I think just a one one tool which I've, you know, been reiterated on last night and learnt last night is perception projection and how you deal with that relationship with that person. And, you know, now that I have that tool, um, you know, been re- reiterated to me, it's I think it's going to help with me with a lot of relationships I have at the moment to be like, hey, I need to create more balance here because I think this person is doing this. They you know and i might be treating them that that way so it's more of an self improvement thing rather than being like everybody around me is affecting how i do things and how i feel things rather than that go let those people just be support and let me figure out if what i'm projecting is healthy enough on that person for them to be able to give me support um anyway that's what i just wanted to get out today um like i said i'll probably do some more stuff on relationships further in the future because Courtney and I have spoken about that and we've had people ask us about that because we're so solid but it's really hard work it's not easy we've been through a lot of stuff and we've had to compromise on a lot of stuff Um, relationships are about compromise they're about support they're about being honest communicating well um, and having balance in all those areas Um, then you can overbalance that like I was an over communicator in our relationship um, you know, when we're going through those psychology services and I, and the psychologist said to me, you got to back off how much you communicate because Courtney communicates differently. So you've got to find a balance and not be like, Hey, I feel this way, this way, this way, but and just barrage her with information when she goes, well, I'm not comfortable throwing that, that much information back to you. So I need to kind of, you need to figure out a balance in between how we communicate and compromise and support each other. Um, hope this was of some type of help in some type of relationship you have if you have any feedback for me just leave it where you need to leave it and i'll consider that take it in and try and make things better thank you